Hi, welcome to Yum's Cuisine Island Treasure Boat. If you enjoy different dishes from different cultures, ethnicities, and countries, then this channel is for you. If you like to learn how to make focaccia bread using a garlic infused coconut oil, then I recommend that you continue watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now these are our ingredients for today and first we are going to start off with some fresh dill, basil, rosemary, thyme, garlic, lukewarm water, instant yeast, garlic infused coconut oil, salt and of course our flour. So here I have my flour. And to this I'm adding my salt along with my instant yeast and I'm gonna combine that together I'm now forming a well at the center and here I'm going to add the wet ingredients. So I have here some garlic infused coconut oil. Along with my lukewarm water. And we're just gonna combine that together. the water a little at a time in order to control the texture of the mixture. If needed, you can add more flour if the mixture gets too damp. So let me just test this now to see if the dough is ready. As you can see here it's a bit sticky so I'm going to add some more flour and combine that as well. Now this focaccia bread is traditionally an Italian bread but I just decided to experiment with coconut oil to see what the results would be like so we're experimenting together now that the dough is ready I'm gonna scrape it into a plate and clean the bowl to get it oiled and ready to set aside. So now I'm gonna add some more garlic infused coconut oil to the pan and that is gonna prevent any crust from forming on the dough. Now you just want to transfer the dough from the plate back into the bowl. You want to put some oil on the top as well to prevent the crust from forming on top as well. And then you want to cover this with cling wrap and set aside for two hours or until the dough doubles in size.
you want to put this in a warm area you can use your oven turning the light on make sure that the stove is off the light will be enough heat to help the gluten to activate so now as you can see our dough has doubled in size and it's visible that there are bubbles in here so here I have again my garlic infused coconut oil and I'm gonna grease my hands that is to prevent my hands from tearing holes into the dough and just want to stretch and fold the dough you want to stretch and fold doing this will lengthen the gluten strands to press down too hard to pop the bubbles that has already formed you want to be very gentle with this step you don't want to inflate the dough now again we are going to seal this with some cling wrap and set aside until the dough doubles in size again or for two more hours So here I have my baking tray which I'm also going to grease. Now traditionally this recipe calls for olive oil but we are using coconut oil. Just trying something new. And now we're going to transfer the dough onto the baking tray. to burst the bubbles you want to be very gentle while spreading the dough out don't worry about the shape that's totally normal for focaccia bread now you want to drizzle this dough with some more coconut oil and now we're going to flavor the top we're going to put some herbs on top so i'm using some rosemary currently and now i'm adding some thyme And all of these herbs are fresh. And I'm also using some fresh dill on top here as well. Now you can put any herbs that you like. You can even use cheese or meats. However you choose to dress the top of your focaccia bread, you can do so. I'm adding some basil here as well. So this is where it gets creative. Now focaccia bread is known for these dimples. So you want to use your finger and you want to punch into the dough touching the tray so you want to put those dimples throughout the dough and then you want to sprinkle that with some salt you can use the coarse sea salt or table salt will work as well if you don't have the coarse sea salt I'm 
also going to put some onion here. And then you want to put this in a preheated oven at 450 degrees to bake until golden brown. Now here we have our results and this is just gorgeous. This is our garlic infused coconut oil for kacha, not olive oil. And the aroma you get from this is amazing. You want to try this recipe guys, you're going to love it. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below so that I'll know what you want to see next so that YouTube can push this video out so that other persons can see my content. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your family and friends on social media platforms. Share with me your results in the comment box down below. And thank you everyone for your support. Have fun in the kitchen.